Sunday, Monday, happy days. Tuesday, Wednesday, happy days. Thursday, Friday, happy days. The weekend comes, my cycle hums, ready to race to you. These days are all happy days. These days are all happy Friday, everybody, and welcome to the Rich and Chris. A little bit of Chris. On Smart Radio. Happy Friday. Happy Friday, everybody. How are we doing? We're good, how's you? Alright, mate, thank you, yes. What you been up to? Uh, wheels of industry keep ticking over, it. you know me. Yeah, I'm here and you're big boy. I mean, you're obviously now in a career path change, aren't you? Well, it's not, it's not been uh, formally announced yet, but anyway, we'll, 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 dis- we'll discuss it a bit later on, but yeah. Teas and seas have to be yeah. down the side, though. <laughs> if you're listening. <laughs> she is, she's on Facebook Hi, Live. Marie. <laughs> she'd have been on this you know oh god bless you so what are we going to kick off with first one then Kim? Um, shall we go for White Stripes Seven Nation Army why not indeed we'll be right back after this
chill on that lad. Yeah, you won't have had pick, would it? No, I enjoyed that kid. That's what my boss pays me for. <laughs> picking songs and then texting him. He don't know that, and probably I hope he ain't listening to the Have you been watching I'm a Celebrity Rich by any chance? Uh, I have actually, yeah. Did you see that food challenge the other day when that sorry at that um camel's hoof? Because it's I'll tell you something, Rich, between me and you, it's put me right off camel toes, you know. <laughs> Never seen him look so fatty and grisly. <laughs> <laughs> exactly there, exactly yeah. Uh, anyway, where do we go for? Anyway, no, I'm just saying. Did you see it though? <laughs> I did see it. Yeah, I did see it. She was brave though, wasn't she? Very brave, very brave. She was brave cavalier. Well, she... <laughs> well yeah. what's she eating? Because Ruby we'll watched. She said, "What's she eating? Sheep's uh, testicle." Yeah, and I mean meat, some of them. <laughs> <laughs> no, so, I don't think she sucks straight in her mouth. No wonder all we we looked at there. <laughs> Gone. So, as we are the beacon you know, for all your inside music, <laughs> we, we we've got this uh, first half hour. We're going to dedicate it to uh, unsigned artists because we are the small beacon, radio. The beacon for unsigned music and artists. Thank you, Yoda, for getting your finger out this week. So I've managed to put a few words together. Yep, so we've uh, we've got... So who's, who's the first... Um... The first one, it's um, a band called The Galaxy Thief, and the song is Sort Your Life Out. It's a four-piece indie band they hail from the South Coast. Their influences range from Panic at the Disco to The Beatles, RCHP to Catfish, and Queen to the 1975s. They spend most of the time in the studio, but some of last year was spent out on tour. The music is arranged... Is it, the music is arranged from doing cover versions as well as their own original music, and I believe this is one of their own original tracks. Right, so get in touch on Facebook, Smile Radio Yorkshire, Instagram and Twitter on... Uh, th- Smile Yorkshire, Smile Radio 3. There we go. And um, you can catch our show if you download the app on Apple and Google Play. And if you actually miss the show or you want to listen again, you can download the app, which will be put on our Facebook page shortly after the show's finished today. Yep. So let us know what you think of this first track from uh, Galaxy Thief. Sort your life out. Do you win? We're gonna do you win. Watch out, big days creeping up. 
best chair up. And we're back. We're back. I was going to say something to you then. I like that, Rich. Yeah, it's... We were just, fly slash bus. Yeah, a bit. little bit like that, yeah. I enjoyed that. Foot tapping, knee Star slapping. Girl. Star. I enjoyed that, no. Mm. Very good. So, the next track we're going to be playing is, uh, is, is a, a song from uh, a lady called Lola Black, and it's Nothing's Gonna Be Alright. She's hailing from Denver, Colorado. Yeah. <laughs> Lola Black has kicked and clawed her way back from the forefront of the Colorado music scene. She released her first album, Daya de las Baracas, in 2012, which spawned the single Baraco, that grabbed the attention of Willie B at 106.7 kpi, and she got added to the station's rotation. Well done, Lola. She added uh, she had continued success over the next few years, but this track has off her up and coming 2018 album. So again, you know what to do. Get in touch with us on Smile Radio Yorkshire, Twitter and Instagram. At Smile Radio 3. Exactly. And through our website, which is smileradio.co. Yeah. So, yeah we are us... Facebook Live at this moment in time. So yeah. For those, we're waving. Hello. We it's, not good radio. it's not good radio waving, but anyway, we're seeing lots of everybody who's watching on Facebook Live. So yeah, get in touch. Let us know what you for think. For those that are, it's the white balls <laughs> in black and white tucked <laughs> up behind the blue ball. <laughs> Thank you very much. Shabba. Shabba.
So what do you think to that one, Chris? Yeah, well, God, she's a... So he's... <laughs> it's uh, Chris and technology. <laughs> anyway, what do you think to right. that? What I think to that is... She's very very polished, isn't she? Mm. That were very. Po- I mean, no, no. She got a bit of a rotation back in there, because that that is um, good. I enjoyed that. Oh, do you think she sounds like Kelly Clarkson? Would you say? A little bit, yeah. yeah. Um, I, I can't. I'm, I was trying to think of who it, it, it kind of reminded me of, but yeah, it's, I enjoyed that. I did, yeah. I was listening to a couple of other other songs earlier on just when we were trying to decide which, because there's a few on our, on our playlist now, and it's also on Spotify as well. Um, but again, we'll be downloading all all the songs and tracks, and our show will be available on Podbean later on on uh, our podcasting. So if you missed right. this or any other shows, you can download it. But yeah, yeah. I really, really enjoyed that. I liked, I like that. Um, I enjoyed. Um, go on, sorry. The, the last couple of weeks, the songs we've been playing on the um, our, the um, unsigned section been really, really good. And and joking aside. I'm now going to have a look at her from her earlier stuff because mm. well, that's really, really post. Unless she sounds a bit more raw when she was, but if that's a finished article now in 2018, that's really, really good. Yeah, she really enjoyed that. So, what's the next one we've got, kid? Right, the, the next track of the unsigned half hour is from a, a lad, uh, young gentleman called Cameron Sanderson. He's a London based um, artist and he creates dark alternative. Uh, pop producer songwriter that gets together electronica, r- rock, hip hop, R and B influences within his music, which is quite an eclectic mix, I think. Mm. Born in Enfield, England, Cameron grew, grew grew up with the with the waking sound of Kerrang on his parents' TV, being captivated by Linkin Park and other genre artists. While his while his cover version of Sleepwalking became a viral video on YouTube, reaching over three million views. He's now started his own social media page, and he's quite. Um, he loves his fan base and he keeps in touch with them. Uh, he's, over, he's reached over a million streams on Spotify and he has 120,000 plus subscribers on Spotify to his music um, and he's determined to make people stand up and listen to his music moving forward. Mm. And this song is called Energy. Yes, yeah, so get in touch, Smile Radio Yorkshire on Facebook, Instagram and Twitter, Smile Radio 3. You're listening to Rich and a little bit of Chris live on Smile Radio. Let us know what you think. Right now the boy's just not a threat But you wait a few more years he's gonna buy Every pearl, every diamond for his girl Now an enemy won't look him in the eye Fly his team right up to LA And he doesn't even need to ask for cash back Cause now he's so money guaranteed He don't even need to think about the price tag Inside my veins, I feel adrenaline when I'm on stage. Everyone yelling my name, and it's great. This is inevitable, you would think. Listening to me, you think it would break. But this industry isn't what you think. Everybody's living in the background, waiting for a track now, right till the blackout. Yeah. From the bottom and then at the top. Your Bugatti and fucking new watch. I love my family, they give me props. For everything that I do, I know I got. Problems to deal with, I know it's a lot. When you get negative, I say to stop. When you feel the energy, never be anything less than a memory. Let it be. Show them what I mean, show them how I dream.
What do you think? Bit Excellent. Of, I really like that bit. Of Eminem sounds a little you know bit like Eminem. That, that, yeah. that little rapping section, then he went into that bit of electro funk type. Mm-hmm. I like that. Yeah, there is. Uh, if it just just a bit of a warning. On if you do go and listen to it on the Spotify, it is uh, uh, X rated. Uh, yeah. So just we had to get the radio edit before because uh, I, I have <laughs> in the past <laughs> unedited the flip bombs. <laughs> yeah. You can tell we're live, anyway. We're still learning the ones and twos here, anyway. So. No, you're, you are not. You are, you are. You're, you're, you're just, we just picked wrong songs, which. We picked you a lot of picture a lot of the week. Can't play that, can't play that, can't play that. <laughs> but anyway, so we're coming up to uh, the first half hour of our show. That was the unsigned uh, uh, three tracks, and sometimes we just pick a particular artist, but this week we've picked three. Got a good mix. So, yeah, it's a bit, of a, a bit of a broad spectrum. So wonder what people thought. Get in touch. Yeah, you, you know, know what, what to, to do. do. Yeah, we're Facebook Live and I'll leave a comment on his wall. Yeah, we're waving. We're waving. I've got a massive quiff. I don't know what for. But well, what we're going to do, we're going to have a little word from one of our sponsors. We'll be right back after this. College Grove Nursery in Wakefield has been providing the highest standard of childcare for over 22 years. Situated on Eastmore Road, we are close to the M1 and M62 motorway network and also convenient for Wakefield City Centre, schools and major places of employment. For more details, check out our website at www.collegegovenursery.co.uk or give us a call on 01924 200 120 to arrange a visit. College Grove, a special nursery which takes a hand, opens a mind and touches a heart.
was always wrong you all in one. So we're back with Rich and a bit of Chris on Drive Time. Welcome on, back. Live on Smile Radio. So we've had that our, our unsigned half hour. With a little touch of the vaccines. Yeah. Just Which, to, to be honest, those three songs were bob on. Yeah, enjoyed that. I did, I enjoyed all three. No, they were so, really good. Are we, uh, are we nearly ready to... We are nearly g- ready, my uh, learned friend. Go into our... The next slot. Yeah, the next link. What was the year? What was the year? Oh, link, not slot, sorry. Yeah, that radio right. jargon. Yeah, yeah, I can tell I've been having some uh, lessons. Well, I, I watched it again today, to be honest. Yeah, it's good, isn't she? Cheers. But she does say slot. Slot? <laughs> she cried laughing. <laughs> <laughs> right, then, the first clue for this year is... The United Kingdom, the Republic of Ireland and Denmark entered the European Economic Community. Quite apt. The Open University awards its first degrees. An English actor, Darren Nesbitt, was convicted of assaulting his wife, Anne Harbury. In February this year, two Pakistanis were shot dead by police in London after being spotted for carrying pistols, which are later established to have been fake pistols. And in March this year, Pink Floyd released The Dark Side of Moon, the all-time best-selling album by a British artist. Mm-hmm. And the final club before we play our first song, Lofthouse Colliery. Seven men will uh, disaster. Seven men were killed in an onrush of water to the West Yorkshire coal mine. Now, you remember that? And the rescuers yeah. pub and all that. I mean, we, we were before our time and that, but the rescuers pub on uh, Leemore Road and everything. So sad times that one, it kid. Sad times. So the first song we're going to play. Is, oh, uh, hang on a minute. Oh, a bit premature. You can tell we're live, can't you? Bit you pre- get that with your elbow? Yeah. <laughs> nah. <laughs> get it, it, trigger, it, trigger finger. <laughs> so this this is uh, from an Irish band. Whisk, uh, the song is Whiskey in the Jar. And it's from... Uh, it's set in the southern I- mountains of Ireland, often with specific mentions of countries Cork and Kerry, as well as Finney. Is that right? Finney? Say hello. Anyway, a village in Cork, County Kerry. The song is about a rapari highwayman who is betrayed by his lover or wife and, and is most wise, widely performed on t- traditional Irish songs. I can't even speak. It was recorded by numerous professional artists since the 1950s. Have you been drinking Benelli? Uh, I've been drinking coffee. <laughs> Plenty of it. <laughs> <laughs> so, what was the... Uh, this is whiskey in the jar. Wolf bar. <laughs> Donkey by Thin Lizzy. <laughs> what was the year getting to? Donkey by Thin Lizzy. <laughs> whiskey in the jar. Yeah.
Well, line it never sounded too good. He sounded, yeah, he sounded a little bit like Metallica there. Yeah. <laughs> Is it? <laughs> hey, I do. It's like stars in your eyes tonight, Matthew. I'm going to be Metallica. Great work, <laughs> Phil. Great work. Uh, anyway, yeah, let's hope I get next oh, one right. Come on, Tom. Oh, we laughed, oh, didn't we? <laughs> <laughs> right, back to it, Klaus. Oh, who's next song, though? The next song. Uh, it, <laughs> I'm just, uh, which, are we having? I'm hoping it's the right one. I don't want someone so sang by Smurfs. <laughs> 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 They'll never get this year. It's like a bad acid trip. Come on. <coughs> oh, stop smoking. I am. <laughs> right, back to it, Clues. Uh, Value added tax VAT came into effect in the UK in April this year. And Peter Neswand, a correspondent of the Guardian newspaper and the BBC, was jailed in Rhodesia for an alleged breach of the Official Secrets Act. Mm. And Liverpool and Celtic FC were crowned league champions of the football in England and Scotland, respectively. A BBC television series, The Ascent of Man, written and presented by Jacob Bronski, Bruno, Bruno, Brunonski, uh, there was also a com- accompanying best-selling book. And Sunderland achieved a shock 1-0 win over Leeds United in the FA Cup final. Ian Porterf- Porterfield scores the only goal of the game, and it was the first time that an FA Cup winning team had not contained a single fully capped international player, and the first put. Per- First post-war FA Cup won by a side outside the first division. And the Princess Royal announced her engagement to Mark Phillips. You want another one? Go on then, we'll you do one more. nodding like Bubba. No, we're, I'm sorry, we've, just, we've been blocked again on uh, Facebook Live. By goodradio.com. Yeah. <laughs> you yeah. two off. <laughs> yeah, off come. Off come. <laughs> right. And the James Bond film Live and Let Die is released in British cinemas, which with the spy being played by the 45-year-old The Saint star Roger Moore. Right, and the next song, honest, I'm going to get it right this time, but I, I apologise profusely. So this one is by Paul McCartney. It was written by Paul McCartney and Linda McCartney and performed by Wings. Fingers crossed. <laughs> yeah, this says. song is Live and Let Die and is the main song of the James Bond film, it. Before mentioned in the yes in the, in the title, live and let die. It was the most successful Bond theme to a, to the point charting at number two on the US Billboard Hot 100 and number nine on the UK Singles Chart. Commissioned specifically for the movie, it reunited the former Beatle with band's producer George Martin, who who produced the song and arranged the orchestra. It was most been most covered by several bands, with Guns N' Roses' version being the most popular cover. Both McCartney and Guns N' Roses' versions were nominated for Grammy Awards. So, what hopefully, when I press play, it's and it right. is going to be Paul and Linda, isn't it? I, I'm hoping and so. Wings. I, that's according to this. Yeah, because if it's worse, we might as well call it. Yeah. Today. Hopefully, we'll get this one right. But uh, yeah, what was the year? <laughs> get in touch. Smile Radio Yorkshire Facebook. Oh, the big top club of the circus. (laughs) (laughs) What was the year? And your heart was an open book. You used to say, live and let live. You know you did, you know you did, you know you did. But if this ever-changing world in which we live in makes you Live and let die
this ever-changing world in which we live in makes you Live and let die In the mix. Back to back, beat to beat. Come on, DJ. Hit hit me with another track. Smile Radio. The curtain shop Osset. For all your curtains, blinds, and upholstery needs, visit our showroom at 9 Kingsway Osset, WF5 8DA. Or give us a call on 01924 283 284. Visit our website www.yorkshirecurtainshop.co.uk or look for The Curtain Shop on Facebook. The Curtain Shop Osset. So you're back with Rich and a little bit of Chris live on Smile Radio. Uh, coming up, we've got um, the All Request Hour, and after that, at 6 30, we've got Connor and Zoe on their uh, Connor and Zoe's Friday Kickabout. Uh, we're on Facebook Live as well, um, uh, when we're not being blocked. Uh, Chris has just gone for a little comfort break, so he'll be back shortly. So, the next song in this particular year is um, Stuck in the Middle with You, sometimes known as Stuck in the Middle, is a song written by Scottish musician Jerry Rafferty and Joe Egan, and was originally performed by the band The Steel, the Steel Wheels. The band performed the song on BBC Top of the Pops in May of this year, and the song charted at number 8 in the UK Singles Chart, and also became an international hit, reaching number 6 on the US Billboard Hot 100. So, what was the year? Get in touch, you know what to do.
back. What film was that from? Ooh, good, I don't know what. Oh, um, don't, don't, don't oh, tell what? me. Don't tell me. Uh, Reservoir Dogs. Good lad. Cheers, cop. That's when he chopped his lug off. Yep. I don't know which one. Doing, doing, doing a Van Gogh. No, but yeah. Good call. Well done. Yeah, I had a bit of a mental block, though. Anyway, over to you, Maestro. What's the, the rest of the clues? I was just made mouthful. Sorry, I do apologise. Um, in June this year, a firehouse... A firehouse. A fire to house in Hull, which killed six-year-old boys, was initially thought to be an accident, but it will later emerge as the first of 26 fire deaths over the next seven years caused by arsonist Peter Dinsdale. Gordon Banks, the former Stoke City and England goalkeeper, announced his retirement from having a football from football after having lost his eyesight in one eye in a car crash in October the year before. The coroner of Bloody Sunday Inquest accused the British Army of sheer unadulterated murder after the jury returns an open verdict. The IRA detonates a bomb in Manchester and Victoria Station in London. And the fashion store Bieber is reopened in Kensington High Street. Oh, oh sorry, I've lost my train of thought then. Um, the Royal Navy sends three frigates to protect the British fishing fleets from Icelandic ships in the Cod War dispute. And the Bahamas gains full independence from within the Commonwealth of Nations. And that was in July this year. I'm missing it a little bit. Don't worry, don't worry. We've had a, we've had a guest, Simon Cleveley, has put his it 1979. Do you know what? I thought he, he <coughs> put the weight, he put it out there, big uh, big Simon, I am, and the lump, said, <laughs> I know the years due to James Bond films. We've given him James Bond clue this week, and he's got it wrong. Lucky son, no, you, you, you're quite a way out, kid. You're well, quite he, a way he needs out. to kick that jar out of bedroom. <laughs> I've heard with the lump. You got it wrong, lump. <laughs> no tea for the lump tonight. <laughs> so the next song in this particular year is Touch Me in the Morning, for an half an hour, is a popular song by record, uh, recorded by Diana Ross on the Motown label. In this year, it became her second solo number one single and her 14th of her career on the Billboard Hot 100. It was conceived by then unproven. Uh, it was conceived by the then unproven songwriter and producer Michael Massa. He has been recruited by Motown CEO Barry Gorder and AR chief Susan DePass Massa. <laughs> Massa teamed up with the proven ballad l- l- lyricist Ron Matillo to write it. Uh, he obviously like a tongue twister. Sorry, 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 mate. No, 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 no. He, he, they obviously wrote it better than I could say it. <laughs> anyway, so get in touch. We've had a few other guesses as well. Uh, Annie in Leeds, that's wrong. Uh, but thanks very much. What was the year? Get in touch. My Radio Yorkshire, Twitter, Instagram. Smile Radio Three. Download the app. Yeah. From iTunes and Google Play, and also www.smileradio.com. We're on Facebook Live at this very moment. If they don't block us, again. Again. So, and if so they've missed the show and guessed it wrong, yeah. you can listen to the podcast again. Yes, we've download it. Download and it. get it right this time. Yes. Touch me in the morning. She any says. Other, any other time. Jabba. Touch me in the morning Then just walk away
So, she, she had a cracking voice, didn't she? Mm. I like that song. Yeah, so you're bopping so, away. So, then. what's your particular moment of the day then? My moment of the day. Yeah. Obviously, Diana's were in the morning. <laughs> I'll take it. Before she made a cup of tea. Anytime. <laughs> oh, my I'm breakfast a, in McVicar. Oh, yeah. I'm a sure thing. Anyway, more, more clues. More clues, Vicar. The film Don't Look Now, containing the most graphic sex scenes hitherto shown in mainstream British cinema, is released in a double bill with a wicker man. The Dalai Lama made his first visit to the UK, and firefighters in Glasgow staged a one-day strike following a pay dispute. Troops were drafted in to run the fire stations. The second Cod War between Britain and Iceland ended in November this year, and television sitcom Last of the Summer Wine began its first series run on BBC One, following a premiere in the Comedy Playhouse on January the 4th. It would run for 31 series, spanning 37 years. And the Princess Royal married Captain Mark Phillips at Westminster Abbey. Peter Walker, the Secretary of Trade and Industry, warned that petrol rationing may have to be introduced in the near future as a result of the oil crisis in the Middle East, which was restricting petrol supply. And the Sunningdale Agreement was signed in Sunningdale, funnily enough, by actually by Prime Minister Edward Heath, the Irish Premier Liam Cosgrove, and representatives for Ulster Union and Social Democratic and Labour Party and the Alliance Party of Northern Ireland. And Geoffrey Wilkinson won the Nobel Peace Prize in Chemistry jointly with Ernest Otto Fisher for their pioneering work performed independently on the chemistry and orgomenetallic so-called sandwich compounds. That was a mouthful. Mm-hmm. And also, a couple of undated ones, um, Vindolander tablets were discovered by Robin Braley near Hadrian's Wall. And Pizza opens its first UK restaurant in Islington, London. Right, the last song on this particular year is um, You're So Vain. And it's a song written by Carly Simon and released in November of this year. The song is a critical profile of self-absorbed lover who Simon asserts, You're So Vain, you probably think this song is about you. The title subject's identity is, has long been a matter of speculation with Simon stating that the song refers to three men, only one of whom she has named publicly. Public, publicly. Thank you very much. Actor Warren Beatty. Uh, oh, Good looking chap. Yeah. He has the right to be vain. He did. The song is ranked at number 92 on the Billboard's Greatest Songs of All Time. Wow, I didn't know that. Your So Vain was voted number 220, 216 in the RIAA Songs of the Century in August of 2014. The UK's official charts company crowned it the ultimate song of the of this particular decade. Ooh, Ooh, nearly. Nearly. Did I change that then? Did I redact that for you? <clears throat> no. I did, no. that, did that off the cup. Good lad. Hey. Well done there. Thank you very much. So, get in touch. What was the year? You're listening to Rich and a little bit of Chris live on Drive Time on Smile Radio. Shabba. Yeah. 
So we're coming up to the our favourite bit now. It's early. Well, it's actually five o'clock. So I think we just need to do uh, uh, the quick dead pull. I guess yeah. dead. I think I think it'd be rude not to. Oh, here we go. A couple of famous deaths uh, this year. Uh, Harold Gibbons, cricketer. Noel Coward, English composer and playwright. He died this year. Jimmy Clitheroe, aka the Clitheroe Kid, English comedian. He died this year. Wilfred Rhodes, another cricketer. He died this year. Some of these are living to a ripe old age. George Benson, not the George Benson, British Labour politician, he dies this year. And J.R.R. Tolkien, the British uh, British writer of the famous book Lord of the Rings and everything that is Middle Earth, he died this year. And the last one, Barbara Freiburg, Baroness Freiburg, British peeress, she died this year as well. Mm. All others, we just don't know, Rich. So go on then, kid. The year was, oh, just before I put it out, Simon E guessed it wrong again. The year, based on Bond film alone, Simon, because you're the master, is 1973. Oh. Ooh. Years out. Unlucky. Kid. So thank you for all, take the time to uh, uh, hazard a guess, and for those who got it wrong, unlucky. But Try it again on Podbean. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, <laughs> we're coming up to the next... Put that jingle on, Rich. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to put it on now for you, son. You're the DJ. Five, four, three, two, one, zero. Let's start the party. The request hour. You request hour. The all request hour at Smile Radio. Get those requests in on www.smileradio.co. Let us know what your song is. You're the DJ now. It's over to you. Yeah, you're through to the all request hour now, so you're the DJ. Yeah, you bet me to that. <laughs> you picked that track. <laughs> Plays a song, man. <laughs> yeah. And what is the first song that has been requested today? Right, we're gonna we're gonna play a bit of uh, Paul Eaton and Jackie Abbott, and it's uh, "You're a Bit of Stuff" by the Crooked Calypso album. I absolutely love Paul Eaton and Jackie Abbott. Did you listen to them on radio too? No, I didn't, but I'll be catching it again. Superb. But you know, like you can listen again on their uh, on their playlist. Well, actually, if you've missed any of our shows, guess what you can do, Chris? Y- you can. Yeah, you can. You can go and download the podcast. On Podbean and listen to any of any of the shows, ours, Connor and Zoe, Codfathers, the Codfather, Richie, yeah, they're all there. Up, yeah, down, down, down. So get in touch. You are the DJ. Yeah.
This is Sean Wrangler, independent country artist out in California. Be sure to check out my debut EP, Cheap Hotels, and to download some of my homegrown Northern California country music, visit SeanWrangler.com.
say you somewhere you know I care but it's so cold and I don't know where I brought you daffodils on a pretty string but they won't flower like the flowers spring and I wanna kiss you make you feel all right I'm just so tired to share my life John at the bar, he's a friend of mine. He gets me my drinks for free. And he's quick with a joke or to light up your smoke. But there's some place that he'd rather be. No. 
Bit of back to back Tom Adele there. What do you think? think? I really like that. Yeah, really like that. I heard it the other week on Radio 2 and I thought that is just superb. But I, I'm, a, I'm a big fan of Billy Joel, so whether he does a decent version of any of the thing, he's, he's, a, he's a fan of mine. Yeah, really, no, really. Really enjoyed, enjoyed that. that. Yeah. So, yeah, we're coming up to the all request out while we're well, in we it. We are in it, we're, we're Well and truly, it's 17 minutes into it, Chris. Oh, we're yeah. a little bit off kilter today, aren't we, Rich? Yeah, we are. We're just, oh, meet myself it, coming back. Do you think it's that camel's hoof we've been talking about? <laughs> yeah. How oh, the shape uh, testicles. Oh, I'll tell you what. I think I'd pretty much do most of it, but the, the one that I, uh, I think it was the vomit fruit. Oh. So you'd, you'd snack on an ass, an anus? I won't like it, Chris. No. <laughs> but it didn't even look cooked, did it? He was chewing it like it was a flip flop. Imagine yeah. that, though. And then he said, it's hairy. Quality. <laughs> oh, great. Yeah. yeah. For mm. £600,000, I'd have had it live. Is that, is that what they get? Well, no lemons. They reckon he got six and a half, that, that's it, 600000 Harry, half a mil. And that Macaulay, that, that lad that were eating anus, I think he's getting 15 grand. 15 grand. 15 grand. Mind you, to be quite honest, I didn't have a clue who he was. Yeah, well, I, I tell you so much, she's been a bundle of finance, she and <laughs> When she dropped her guts in Nick's face, you see when she rolled out of bed. Imagine, yeah. sorry, he brought, he's on the other side of the floor. <laughs> Gas mask on. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, it, I, 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 there's some of the stuff I have to say. Oh, I've got to cheat in getting a bikini, though, Anne. I've seen Fleur Day spinning hers. <laughs> Well, then what's she called? She's never out of hers, is she? That we- Katie. That Emily Atak. Uh, she wants to get a, one that fits her. <laughs> for the cyborg back she's going on. I think you've been giving it far too much. Yeah, I've you been with? watching it on reruns. Critiquing it. Pausing it. it. <laughs> Paul, yeah, <laughs> pausing it and dashing off. <laughs> right, this next one is a bit of fans burning on for Simon Cleveley. Take lump. me out. And the lump. <laughs> and the lump.
start the party. The request hour. The request hour. The all request hour at Smile Radio. Get those requests in on www.smileradio.co. Let us know what your song is. You're the DJ now. It's over to you. Who came through with two blocks to terrorize your world? Huh? Told you how to slap bibs and murder your girl. Gave you all the finger and told you to sit and swirl. So the billion tapes are still scream, fuck the world. Slim shit.
Ladies and gentlemen, can I please have your attention? Broadcasting around the world. Well, hello. This is your number one internet radio station. College Grove Nursery in Wakefield has been providing the highest standard of childcare for over 22 years. Situated on Eastmore Road, we are close to the M1 and M62 motorway network and also convenient for Wakefield City Centre, schools and major places of employment. For more details, check out our website at www.collegegrovenursery.co.uk or give us a call on 01924 200 120 to arrange a visit. College Grove, a special nursery which takes a hand, opens a mind and touches a heart. Had a friend who I love from my heart But I went on and left her For I'd made a start Now I'm on in the blues Like the rest of the charts Take me back So I'll cry with a limb Just get by on a limb To these blue eyes of mine They are closed So here's to an old-fashioned peck On the cheek Sweet northern rose Give me one Last love song To bring you back Give me one Last video Just dressed in black Dressed in black Give him a chorus And I'd bet at the end Wails on and on About the loss of a friend let him scream loudly, well, this love could mend. Let it die, let it die. Those bloody great ballads we hated at first. Well, I bought them all, now I'm writing words. Save me from bothers and saving the earth, take me back. And I'll smile with a limp And I'll love with a limp Till the clouds disappear from above As the storm moves away All I can say is to tell the door for your love Give me one last love song To bring you back Give me one last video Just dressed in black Dressed in black Give him a chorus and that bit at the end Wails on and on about the loss of a friend Let him scream loudly, well, this love could mend Let it die, let it die, let it die Beautiful South there. I like that. My version. version. I like that, Rich. Yeah. Recording in the old background. Thought that was lovely. Nice choice. Any more selections of coming choices requests? Um, we've got no. I've uh, I've got a one for but a bit of busted year three thousand. Okay. Um, so we'll uh, we're playing that one next. So what's going on for you over the weekend, then, old lad? What's going on? Well, I'm getting my gloves out this weekend to wash them. All oh, right. Because uh, I've got my fair coaching badges Monday and Wednesday next week. Have you? Yes. What goalkeeping coach? Goalkeeping coaches. I'm hoping to pick some up and then I'm taking little uh, 
little sessions at the club at, at Durkee Devil, so I'm going to get all affi- affiliated and get me badges so I can make them more fun rather than just b- birching them every time they drop ball. Yeah. The parents are beginning to look a little bit concerned now <laughs> when they come home looking like Jesus walking through um, Jerusalem. But no, uh, what about you? Oh, you know I'm alone this weekend. Aren't yeah, you? yeah, yeah. The, well, it's uh, you and I, just, isn't there? Uh, well, yeah, we'll be, uh, we'll be uh, arm wrestling. Uh, yeah, I'll win. <laughs> it's not much yeah. life in there, is it? Well, he's a cardboard cut out. <laughs> it scares me though when you walk in. Oh, what the what? <laughs> Clipping a bit. Anyway, so imagine that though. I know. So yeah, I'm 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 uh, I'm home alone uh, for well for a couple of nights anyway at least. So yeah, okay. I'll be uh, I'll Decent be in charge. Kit, I'll be in charge. Lad, watch what you want, eat what you want. Yeah, go to bed when you want. Yeah, I'll be yeah. And hey, do you know what? I might even just leave a cup downstairs. You do that. Yeah, because that's how I roll. But bear in mind, you pick you come home on Monday, so make sure it's gone. Uh, yeah, obviously. Of <laughs> and then uh, I'm gonna do another show. I'm gonna do another podcast, I think. Yeah. So tell us about your podcast that you've been doing then. Well, I'm. I've, I've done one. Have you listened to the second one yet? I haven't had a chance to listen to the well, second it's one. Of a, it's more of a new. Obviously, what's been going on over the last few weeks with Brexit and that, I thought. And I'd done a bit of a TV show. Not show, you make it sound like we're on Coronation Street. Um, I did a, a programme that aired on Sky a bit back about engineering the future now. We're going to move forward in the UK. And I briefly touched on it and I thought. I think I've. Because I will edit it and stuff like that. Yeah. So I thought, I've a, you know, I think I've a couple of valid points I wanted to get across. So. Did a bit of a podcast on uh, Tuesday evening, Tuesday or Monday or Tuesday evening. So I'm waiting for you to edit that and have a look, see what you think. Mm-hmm. And then I want to go back to my original idea, which was, which was a page in time. Uh, I've done a couple of demos. I need to work on them, and obviously I need to put my microphone on a level surface because I kept catching it and going, "Oh, please no." So I'm going to work on that this weekend and see how that goes. Do probably do a couple. I've got a bit more. I lost all my footnotes and it all fell over the floor. It's a bit of a mitigated disaster. So <laughs> live and learn, don't we? Yeah. We all want built in a day, but when you're dropping all your footnotes all over, and well, I couldn't find what I was looking for either. It all went a bit peaked on. Well, what we'll do, y'all listening to uh, Rich and Lily and Chris on Drive Time. So after a uh, bit of busted, we'll continue and you can tell us a little bit more about your podcast and uh, let us get it out there and let, let people listen. Let us know what you think. Get in touch with Smile Radio Yorkshire, Twitter, Instagram, Smile Radio 3. And www.smileradio.com.
In the mix. Back to back, beat to beat. Come on, DJ. Hit me with another track. Slow Radio. from the past there a bit of uh, boy band I did enjoy them both so come on just fill us in a little bit more about your, your podcast and everything else that you're, you're, you're working on at the minute you know the show we're doing now and it, there's so much that we talk about off air that we can't talk about on air as well yeah and, some of that, and not so much the content it's, it's some of the stories we tell each other I think that, I think they deserve a, a format for telling you know adults only so I'm looking on and that a couple of ideas how we can sort of get that across. Yeah. Probably not in a podcast, but more in a, uh, a couple of one-off, one-off small shows or something like that. You know, something different. Obviously, after the watershed, or at least with a, a warning before. You know, where we can actually have a laugh. Mm-hmm. Not that we don't have a laugh anyway, but and the podcast that I sort of did the other day, albeit it was about Brexit. Every now and then, I want to look at something that because everybody's entitled to an opinion. Yeah. Right, not per se a particular uh, political opinion, but there can other things that people feel strongly about and can relate to. So every now and then I'm going to sort of sneak in a little half hour, my view sort of thing, which once it's been critiqued and looked at and edited, and I mean, I'll never say anything overtly on PC, which is, 
you, you don't get any credence with that. So I want to look at keep doing that because lots of stuff happen that you think, yeah, mm. I've got a thought on that. But my main baby, which I am working on, and obviously, like I said before, I need to work on my juggling skills and a little bit of practice and get me sense set. It's a, a page in time. It's a podcast I want to do. It's based me on growing up, reading books, listening to music, that and certain things that have gone on, you know, before I became Fabio. F-A-B-I-O? F-A-B-I-O, which I've never got that plate yet, but I will. But I can't really put it on Barry Potter's mobile, can I? <laughs> That's, that's a juxtaposition if you ever spoke about it, is it? Yeah. Well, so I look that, forward to yeah. getting the, the stuff through and I look forward yeah. to uh, but, not, yeah. not, cri- not critiquing it. but no, you know, you, the, the words were harsh. There were tears on my phone the other day. <laughs> Sometimes you need a bit but, of tough love. <laughs> tough love? <laughs> You're like one of them things that ain't wild. You know, you just uh, be, them wild animals have babies and just pick them up in the mouth and drop them to see you. <laughs> fend for yourself. There's a fish there. But no, so I'm going to work... So, uh, I'm going to put some music, like you, we talked about, you says, you know, put two or three tracks in it and break it all up. So I'm going to work on that as well and then hopefully get something a little bit more polished hopefully next week over to you and then see what we think and mm-hmm. probably there'll be little footnotes, put a song in here and stuff like that. Not going to be over, overcome with songs because I have got a plethora of material that I want to get across. Great word, plethora. Plethora, Great I know. Word. That's to have stuck in ju- juxtaposition and plethora, so... Yeah. We so, should have a little competition on air. Uh, you, you'll win hands down. No, no, you'll come out with some belties, you. That's when I don't have to think about it, though. I still don't know what half of them mean. <laughs> so you're listening to Rich and a little bit of Chris live on Smart Radio. So we've got a few more songs coming up. We're probably not going to get a chance to play them all before. Cause we're we've been undated today as well, haven't uh, we? We've, we've, in the last 14 minutes, where's it gone? It's Where's the time gone? So this one's for Gavilar, if he's listening. Uh, this is Hard to Handle by the Black Claws, and it's um, from the album Shake Your Moneymaker. So get in touch with us, Smile Radio Yorkshire on Facebook. And if you have been trying to watch us on Facebook We've live, off, uh, they, they keep blocking the... Uh, even though we are a legit radio station, we pay our PPL and PRS licences, but they continue to keep blocking it because it, it says we're playing uh, copyright material. And also, our faces and physiques are clashing with Magic Mike's... Um, yeah, exactly. Yeah. So, but this one's due for Gavla. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I had to handle Black Crows. Calls the mama, I'm sure all the hand and I just around. Calls her mama, I'm sure all the hand and hand is around. Calls her mama, I'm sure all the hand and hand is around.
Let me light your candle coals And mama, I'm sure all the hand and now Yes, around You're the DJ now. It's over to you.
smile Bring me laughter All the while In this world where we live There should be Right, we're just coming back to uh, the last five minutes of our show. It's absolutely whizzed by. Thanks for everybody who's been in touch. It has flown by, hasn't it? Yeah, you've been listening to Rich and a little bit of Chris live on Smile Radio. My little bit of advice before I leave for this weekend's journey. What's that? Just ensure your camel toes aren't fatty and chewy. (laughs) (laughs) On that bombshell. (laughs) We can't always be on to a celebrity time for doing it for £15,000, can we? Exactly. Well, anyway, have a fantastic weekend, and thank you so much for listening. And uh, for happy all birthday the, to Sarah. Yeah, happy birthday, Sarah. 40th, uh, Enjoy Sarah. It, Richmond. Yes, uh, have a brilliant weekend with the ladies. Have and, you left uh, up some pot noodles? Yeah, well, Hopper's in charge with the three kids, bless him. So, yeah, thank you so much, everybody. Uh, have a fantastic weekend, whatever you're going to do. Don't forget, coming at half past six is uh, Connor and Zoe's Friday Kickabout, and after that is uh, the unsigned playlist with Richie J. Richie J. So, yeah, thank you very much, everybody. And don't forget, kids, give us three rings when you get in. We're going to sign off now with a little bit of U2, where the streets have no name. Have a good weekend, guys. Bye-bye.